கண்ணன் ரமேஷ் சோமசெட் ஹிண்டஸ் ஹெல்த் கேர் ஃபண்ட் ஐம் எ சீனியர் பார்ட்னர் பேசிக்கலி இன் இந்தியா டாக்டர்ஸ் யூஸ் டு ஆர் பிளேயிங் எ வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ரோல் இன் ரன்னிங் ஹாஸ்பிட்டல்ஸ் பட் ஃபார் க்ரோத் அண்ட் எக்ஸ்பேன்ஷன் தே ரிக்வயர் மணி டாக்டர்ஸ் இன் இந்தியா ஹேவ் பின் கன்சர்வேட்டிவ் பாரோயிங் டு ரன் தேர் ஆப்ரேஷன்ஸ் ப்ளஜிங் தேர் ப்ராப்பர்ட்டிஸ் giving collateral security personal guarantee etc that has been the traditional approach things have changed now doctors in large numbers are taking equity to basically grow that means they are reaching out to investors like us enabling investments into their plants both existing units and new units and thereby announcing the business proposition the young generation coming to own to healthcare supporting their parents and the family is playing a very important role in this particular aspect so what is clearly happening across the country there are doctors seeking investments and growing their business expanding diversifying adding more specialties etc etc on one side on the other side what is happening in hospital is the larger hospitals are acquiring other hospitals through mergers and acquisition that is supported heavily by international investors be it tamasek otpp blackstone tpg many others so clearly on one side the bigger hospitals are basically announcing their presence by acquiring hospitals the smaller hospitals in the states are growing expanding within a particular state so overall there is an amazing opportunity and growth possibility within hospitals in the country uh, the main a uh, challenge one should say in the hospital spaces i would split this into before 3 years and maybe now honestly doctors would not let go they would run operations run medical run finance run everything that was a limitation today very surprisingly doctors are letting go they are concentrating on the clinical side and allowing other professionals to come and manage any other vertical like finance commercial marketing sales etc that i think is very critical because good talent is flowing into the system to deliver better results second use of technology honestly doctors never were technology friendly 2 3 years back but if you see now everyone is technology focused they are advising implementing accepting newer technologies which enable better care and benefit to the patients i would give you an example take preventive care 3 to 5 years back people never even used to bother about preventive care today with connected care coming in point of care devices coming in very clearly there is a renewed demand for preventive care added to it the government is playing a very very important role in encouraging preventive care csr programs are structured around preventive care so what is clearly happening is preventive care is becoming a focus camps clinics etc your possibilities of a disease is treated is found out early and thereby treated early this is a good concept coming to challenges other than the fact that we have verticals which is changing now with new professions coming in growth is an issue doctors had a particular mindset be happy with what you have today 
considering the potential available and clear lack of health care in cities anywhere in the country, more and more hospitals are growing beyond their place of origin. That is coming in as a big benefit to the doctors as they step out of their comfort zone, set up new hospital. Third, it was once used to be very high. Sending of hospital is no joke at all. But today, build to design. Somebody is building the hospital, you run the hospital. OPEX financing. You don't invest into CAPEX, somebody invests, you pay monthly. So ultimately, a lot of these availability, be it finance debt, equity, OPEX financing, built to design hospitals, more and more clearly is contributing to making the decision to invest in hospitals more easier. So challenges which were there earlier is now becoming opportunities. Somerset Healthcare or Somerset Indus Healthcare Fund started about 12 years back. The whole idea of starting a fund to invest was to support a particular business vertical, in this case, healthcare. Why healthcare? All the partners in the fund have adequate experience in healthcare. I think they know this very well compared to anything else. So better to stick to what you know and perform well. That was the first clear-cut understanding as to why we should be in this space. But what are the thesis of the fund? The thesis very clearly was India. India only, no other geography. So that means we had to support Indian healthcare. Third, where do you support healthcare? We decided we will support healthcare in tier 2 and tier 3 cities, not in the main cities. Why? Basically because healthcare is underserved in the cities beyond the state capital. Ultimately, people travel hundreds of kilometers for simple healthcare needs. So clearly the focus was, can we encourage entrepreneurs in Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities to go and make a difference to healthcare, to bring what everyone else deserves to get, these people are not getting. Can we change that? So we look at our first fund, which was a small fund, about $30 million. What did you invest in? A company based in Hyderabad, using technology to deliver goods on the ICU platform. What are the biggest challenge? Hospitals beyond state capital didn't have ICUs. So what is the point talking about something? So not there. So we encourage this entrepreneur to basically take ICU to multiple locations outside the main cities, supply everything end-to-end -end devices, consumable, etc., etc., so that a person could efficiently operate an ICU with all the paraphernalia included. That became a very big success and a large private equity player acquired the company. Second was dialysis. Grossly underserved in healthcare. You will be shocked that India produces only about 1,700 nephrologists. Paramedics, technicians run dialysis. So we required a chain which could take dialysis to the smaller cities. So innocent in that chain grew very well and subsequently a very, very large global player acquired this. So that told us very clearly that demand lies in the tattoo tier 3, need lies in the tattoo tier 3 and that is where we should work. Third, the most important investment pride of us, Krishna Diagnostics. This is a diagnostic company which for the first time in the country focused on PPP, 
private public partnership along with the government which people said impossible to work nobody was willing to give money to a guy who wanted to work with the government but we gave today that company went public that tells you it is the largest ppp player in the country and you'll be surprised to see the most profitable diagnostic player in the country that tells you very clearly you have the right model things will work then the next again a very very interesting system signus hospitals delhi and haryana ultimately all of us within the fund we are very successful one of the best funds in the country tremendous irr very good moc dpi all companies doing well no loss ratio fully compliant with all the ag norms what does it take it does not take money money the millions of money around we work on value value that can make a difference that can change the course of benefit to the customer that is what we do and we do well so our future plans we have just finished finished investing from one to we are going to invest into fund three we are raising fund three first close we will do sometime in two months from now it is a 250 million dollar fund very clearly again focus on healthcare within india already we have signed the first term sheet for the first investment again focused on services to make sure it reaches out to the mass at large so very clearly all what we do we do it for the benefit of the indian patient and we have very encouraging response from our investors we will get the required target we have set for ourselves and go on investing to make a difference in our own little way to the indian healthcare system